Uh, I don't know what kind of effects you guys are using, but everything is still there, guys. And also the next one is the media generators where you can find certain effects like gradients, credit rolls, uh, solid colors, also text. That's a very important one in the media generators tab. So nothing really changed also at the bottom of the preview screen. <laughs> What is happening guys, my name is Alex and I literally never thought that I would be making this video. Vegas Pro 14, the program finally released and this was so unexpected because everyone was asking on the Sony website, yo, is there going to be Sony Vegas Pro 14? No, Sony Catalyst is the new version. Well guys, in this video, I'll be running through everything you need to know about Vegas Pro 14 and basically I want to give a big shout out to Magix for this because Sony is not the creator of this program the creator is Magix so what we should say is Magix Vegas Pro 14 not Sony Vegas Pro 14 I know we all are used to say Sony Vegas Pro whatever version you have this company released Vegas Pro 14, I think they signed like an agreement with like like Sony about like taking over uh, the Vegas uh, program. But in this video, I'm going to run through everything you need to know, everything that is new. So there was a lot of speculation about like the topic of Vegas Pro 14 version, but it did happen. This is the trial version. Uh, I downloaded right from the website, so if you want to grab a copy of the trial, you can go ahead and check out the description. You can find a link there. You can go ahead and start using Vegas Pro 14 yourself. So basically, the, I want to mention a few things. So as you guys clearly can see on the entire screen, the layout is not looking that different. I mean, we're all used to the gray screen. And also in this version, Vegas 14, the editing screen is just gray, just like the previous versions, Sony Vegas 13, 12, or 11, or even previous. So right Right now I'm going through everything that's possibly different than Sony Vegas 13 right here in Vegas 14. The layout isn't, didn't change that much. There are some little icons that have changed but are, those are just little details. That's what I noticed right off the bat. There are some icons in this program that definitely change but I think in my case the consideration of changing the layout of some icons I personally think it does not affect your editing experience. So we have a few icons that are the same and as you guys clearly can see we have everything that is also so in Vegas 13, just like Sony Vegas 13, right here in this program, Magix Vegas 14, we have the same tabs right there. So nothing different about that. We just have the regular bars. Just as always, we have the same tabs like our project media where you can find all your uh, clips that are currently in your project. Also next to that we have Explorer where you can find all your footage if you want to import any footage. Obviously the transitions tab is also there. And then the next tab that I use the most is video effects. So you don't lose all your brightness and contrast, your color correction, uh, your Gaussian blur, your sharpen. Uh, I don't know what kind of effects you guys are using but everything is still there guys. And also the next one is the media generators where you can find certain effects like gradients, credit rolls. Uh, solid colors, also text, that's a very important one in the media generators tab. So nothing really changed also at the bottom of the preview screen. And also I'll be releasing tomorrow, I'll be releasing a Sony Vegas tutorial about like the best um, like keyboard shortcuts, like pressing S to cut, pressing Control G to group, space to play and everything. So make sure you stay tuned, we have everything in there. So obviously also we have our timeline, which is also the same. And of course at the left we have our timer, so you can see how far or how many minutes even hours, minutes and seconds, even milliseconds you are into your video. So that's very handy also. And also at the right, our volume uh, mixer didn't go anywhere next to our preview screen. So that's a really cool thing. And some other questions that people are having is, are you able to open up Sony Vegas Pro 13 projects.veg are you able to open those in Vegas 14? Because I can understand that you cannot open Vegas 11 projects in Vegas 13. That's not gonna work. I have good news guys. Yes, you can open up all your Vegas 13 projects in this program with, without any issues. You don't need to import anything. You don't need to edit your video all over again. You can just right click on your Vegas Pro 13 project, the project.veg, right click, open with Vegas Pro 14 and you are good to go. And also basically the render settings, everything is just the same. Even your presets will not 
be deleted. It is that awesome. As you guys can see, those render presets, I didn't put them in. They already were in. And also your, your color correction presets, they're all in there. You don't need to do anything because it is that awesome. So everything in Sony Vegas 13 will be automatically, in my case, it was automatically transferred to Vegas 14. I didn't have to make my presets again, my render settings, my color correction, everything was in there. So I can definitely, definitely recommend this program. I think the hype is going to be like so much bigger since this version is released because I don't know, everyone was waiting for uh, Vegas Pro 14 and everyone was on the Sony website like being a little skeptical uh, about this but guys I can finally announce that this version released so like I said if you want to grab a copy obviously you can just find a link in the description so you can go ahead and download the trial and see it yourself and now the biggest question out of everything that I will get will you make Vegas Pro 14 tutorials well guys in my opinion hell yes but here's the thing I'm gonna try to get uh, this program for free and basically, I don't want you guys to ride Magics, give me a free code because otherwise they're not gonna sell anything. So if possible, and if Magics see this, make sure to hit me up for a free code. If it's possible, obviously I will make videos in this and I'll be switching officially from Sony Vegas Pro 13 tutorials like I'm doing right now. I will be officially switching to Magics Vegas 14 videos just because I also want to move on in software and upgrade. So I'm gonna end off this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the description to find a download link to the trial of Vegas 14. And once again, Magics, if you're seeing this, make sure to hit me up with a free activation code so I can start making tutorials in this and I can start actually promoting this program with my tutorials without any charge. Make sure to go ahead and do that. Thank you guys for liking, thank you guys for subscribing, and I will see you guys tomorrow for one new Sony Vegas tutorial. As long as I don't have any permissions or like any full versions, I'm not going to make videos yet in Vegas 14. So I will see you guys tomorrow for a Sony Vegas Pro 13 video. So there was a lot of speculation about like the topic of like releasing a Vegas Pro 14 version, but it did happen once everything is fixed. I will announce that in the video that I'll be switching to Vegas 14 but for now I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new Sony Vegas Pro 13 tutorial make sure to stay tuned and I will see you guys next time
that is it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below and also the subscribe button at the bottom. So thank you for the continued support. If you want to see more content, make sure to click right here. That's it for today. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.